Hi everyone, happy Sunday. I hope everyone's had a great week and for those of you who have been back at school, you've been enjoying it and those of you who are still at home are still enjoying that. I know it's quite difficult, but we will get through this and we'll get through it together. Um, I know the weather's been a bit miserable this week, but hopefully next week the sun will be out and it'll be a bit warmer and the rain will subside. Um, so next week, on the 21st of June, we celebrate a special day called Father's Day. And that is when we celebrate all our fathers. And um, now some of us, like me, might not have a father on earth. So some of your fathers might not be around and that's okay because father could doesn't necessarily mean your dad. It could mean that someone that just takes care of you. So it could be a parent that takes care of you. I know when Father's Day comes around, I always wish my mom ha happy Father's Day because she's been both to me and that's okay as well. But what the whole point of this session is today is to get us thinking about how lucky we are that not only do we have an earthly father but we also have a heavenly father who is absolutely perfect and one day the boys who will be listening to this video or maybe you've got brothers that um are at home with you one day they will um grow up and be fathers of the future and um, in the Bible, there's a man called Jairus who had a daughter. Now, fathers will go to any length um, to protect their children. And that is exactly what our Heavenly Father would do. Now, again, what I'm saying is that it might not be a male father. It might just be someone that looks after you. But someone who loves you and that will do anything to protect you. And like Jairus, Jairus had a daughter and he did all the damn things. He listened to her read, he played games with her, he told her about God, he worked hard to earn money so she could have new clothes and good food. And I'm sure a lot of your parents or adults do that for you. And one day the little girl didn't feel very well. Now that makes your adults really sad when you don't feel very well. And she had a headache and felt a bit dizzy. Um, Jairus made her some medication and her mother looked after her. And each day the little girl felt a little bit worse. And Jairus sat beside her bed and worried about, about whether she's going to get better or not. And she gave her more medication. And now that must have really made Jairus very scared because he's doing everything he can possibly do to try and make his daughter better because like any adult that loves us that will really try um, and do anything to make us better and she didn't get better unfortunately Jairus was worried that she might die so we're going to listen to what happens what does Jairus do and the story that we're going to read is from Mark 5 um 21 to 23 so Jesus went back across to the other side of the lake there at the lakeside a large crowd gathered around him Jairus an official of the local synagogue arrived and when he saw Jesus he threw himself down at his feet and begged him my little daughter is very ill please come and place your hand on her so that she will get well and live now even though Jairus did everything he could, there's some things fathers and daddies and adults can't do. But our Heavenly Father is perfect. He is always there. He will answer our prayers when we ask. And Jairus knew that. And he knew that he, he had taught his daughter about God before. And he went to Jesus and he never asked, he never said to Jesus, maybe you can or maybe you can come to my daughter and make her better or maybe she won't get better he said please come with me now and because you will be able to make my daughter better so he knew that he couldn't do it by himself and he needed jesus and that is one that is what we are so lucky about we've got two fathers we've got one on earth whether it is a father or a person that looks after you or mommy and 
but we've also got a heavenly father and he is absolutely perfect because there's not humans can't do everything themselves and that's normal and we are just really really lucky that we have a heavenly father a daddy who will look after us who will care for us he's there to listen to us he's there to protect us he's there to have a really really special relationship with us and we are so lucky to have that and what we're going to do today is we are going to make a little bookmark it can be for your daddy or it could be for your mommy or it could be for an adult who takes care of you whoever you would like to make the bookmark for but it's to remind us that yes we've got our lovely parents and adults who take care of us and they do their absolute best to make sure that we are clothed that we are healthy that we are looked after but there's only so much they can do but we've got a heavenly father who is there to protect us and he is absolutely perfect now what we will need is some if you've got some colored card that's great if you don't then you can just use some paper but you are going to cut out a shape of a tie and you are going to decorate it however you would like i just did some polka dots on the um front you can decorate it if it's for a lady you can do it with flowers and pretty pictures if it's for a man you can do it however you would like however you would like to decorate the tie is entirely up to you and then on the back you can write a little message so i've just written you are the best it will be i've just written however um you are the best and you can write whatever you would like and that is to be given to your father just to show or mommy or adults um, just to show a bit of appreciation to them that yes they do everything to do uh, help us and protect us but there's only so much they can do and that we are so so blessed that we've got two daddies we've got one on the earth on earth who it might ever be and we've got one in heaven we have a daddy in heaven who's there to look after us and protect us and he's absolutely perfect and that he will do anything he's there to listen at any time of the day whenever we might feel a bit scared or a bit worried he's always listening and he's there to have the relationship with us and to love us so you can ha decorate your tie it's not that big it's half of the normal size piece of paper and then you just decorate it however you would like and you can give that to your adult who takes really good care of you to show them a bit of appreciation. I hope you have a great week coming week and I'll see you soon. Bye.